Hello and welcome back to our class and let's cover getting a product sample. This is very important because we want to check and make sure the quality of the product. And before we get the actual sample of it, we want to make sure that this is the right product for us. So to do this, we have to take a look at a few things. First of all, you inspect the pictures of the product itself and see if there is anything wrong with the product. If you can see if the item is not made well, maybe it's a cheap product. Maybe this is not the right product for you. So after you look at the original pictures, you want to see if there is more pictures in the description. Sometimes there is no more pictures in the description, but people who are actually buying the same identical product sometimes go about and post picture of the product as well. As you can see, this is a review and a picture review. There is nothing better than a picture review by an actual customer because you can tell how good this product actually is. And plus, you can see his review as well. Now, you want to look at every single one of the reviews because you want to make up your mind before you go and get this product. There is also other people who sell identical products just like it on Alibaba as well. So you don't really have to get this specific one. But you might have a few choices for you to pick from. So this is just one seller that does this product. There is a bunch of other sellers who are selling the same identical product as well. So you want to pick who is giving you the best possible price. And also you want to make sure that this item gets to you fast and doesn't break in the mail. Next thing we are looking at is this. If it is being shipped with ePocket and it does, this means that you're getting a fast shipping to your location. And it takes about 12 to 20 days, which is the normal time to get this specific product. Now you can definitely expedite the shipping but it's going to cost you so much more money. It is not worth it for you. Unless, of course, it is a very heavy product. But I don't suggest selling those kind of products at all. Next thing that you want to take a look at is the actual price itself, the discrepancy in prices. This goes from 5.7 to 5.42. This is only 5% difference between the price right here, which means even if you list it up, you're not going to have that much discrepancy in price. You can always go back and buy this product. Now, one thing I do suggest for you to do is to grab the product itself and add it to your cart. The reason why you want to add this product to your cart, you want to watch for price discrepancies of the product. You want to make sure that the product doesn't go up and down too much with the difference in price. Another thing you want to take a look at, of course, is competition. So sometimes you might be able to find exactly the same kind of product for a lot less. So just by looking, I found the same identical one for much cheaper price. So this one is going for 431. So definitely this is the better product because it saves us money. But the votes here, you can see there's more people who reviewed it. And definitely there's going to be more people who are giving it full stop. You might want to double check why are they giving four star for this specific product. But the price is even better. So one thing I totally suggest for you to do is to copy down part of the description and paste it. See if you can find other people who are selling the same exact product and selling it much cheaper. But keep on looking. I found even better product over here. This one is going super cheap. 188. You can't beat this price at all. So I went all the way from six bucks all the way to a dollar eighty-eight with free shipping. This takes a little longer delivery time. And this one is shipped by something else, which is China Post Ordinary Small Pocket Plus. This means that the shipping is gonna be much, much longer. In fact, a lot more longer than I wanted it to actually be. I don't want it to go over the specific amount of time which is 20 to 39 days is a long time for me to actually wait on the other hand at this small price i definitely can take a risk and buy a few of those myself and sell them as soon as i get an order in so this is something for you to keep in mind if this product is selling really well you might as well just order some at such a low price now one thing you want to do is to go back over here Let's go to the original seller and get it from him instead. Now, 
although it's gonna cost us a little bit more, which is 292, this item is shipped much faster. It is shipped while e-pocket and it's gonna be shipped twice as fast as the cheaper product. So although we're gonna be paying a little more, we're gonna get this product a lot faster. So faster is much better than waiting for it a lot longer, especially if you are gonna be drop shipping it directly to your client who is buying this from eBay. Another thing you wanna take a look at is the shop that this person is actually doing business from. Now this shop was open since September 12, 2017. This is not such a long time. I don't like the track record of this specific shop. You wanna go into and visit the shop itself and take a look what else are they actually selling. If you find a lot of interesting things in here and you wanna take a chance with this new sell, you can do so. It doesn't gonna cost you much money to do business with somebody who is selling things at a very cheap price. On the other hand, I rather do business with people who are an established seller and been in this business for at least a year or two on Alibaba. The next thing you wanna do is to get a sample product. When you're getting a sample product, make sure you get the sample product directly from the seller that you wanna do business with. Don't just go and get it where it is the cheapest, even if it is the same identical looking product. We don't wanna take a chance on it. We want to make sure we can inspect everything about this product. So first of all, make sure you look at all the images of the product that we'll be getting. This is how it's going to look like. This is the box itself and everything else in here. Next thing you want to do is to press on the product, add this to the cart. And now let's go to the view shopping cart. After we go to the view shopping cart, this is the price we'll actually be paying and you can see the competitor right here was selling it for 542, which is twice as much. But this one comes without even original box. I was gonna pay twice as much without the box and this guy is selling it for less, 431. So definitely this is the better seller for me to do business with. Next thing you wanna do is to contact this specific seller. After you sign in into your account, you go in here and you ask him the question. You wanna know, first of all, if he can give you a discount if you buy more than a few. Plus, you're getting the sample product, so you wanna ask for that specific sample product to be the cheapest possible price. See if he can give you even a bigger discount for the initial product. If yes, you're gonna go and send him the message. In fact, we had a competitor there who was selling this same exact product for much cheaper. So you can see and ask him if he can beat that price. If he can, let's do business with this specific sell. So all you have to do next is to ask him the following questions. So, um, so here is what I wrote to him. So I found same product for a lot cheaper. Can you do 219 for this product? And also you have to make sure. So here it is, I wrote to him exactly all the information that I need. And I'm looking forward to do business with him for 219. If he can do this, or he probably will be able to meet me somewhere in the middle, it's totally fine. What I wanna see here is if he's negotiable if he's willing to take down the price just a little bit, and if so, it means he's flexible. If he says the product is as is, and the price is not negotiable, it's totally fine. You can either go to somebody else, or you can decide yes to do business with this seller. Plus, you wanna see if he responds to the message or not. That also shows if he actually has an actual customer service, in case you do have an issue with this product later on in the future. So after you do this, make sure you go and place your first order. So let's go and send him the question first. And now the next step for us is to wait and see when we get his response and then we'll decide what to do next. 